Hello friends, in engineering drawing subject, today we are going to learn orthographic projections. In which today we will learn how to draw a different orthographic views of given 3D object using third angle projection method with respect to direction of view. So here it is our data for the problem. Draw orthographic views of an object, front view, top view and right hand side view using third angle projection method. Now let us observe the different views of given 3D object with respect to direction of view. To solve this problem with the help of roller scale draw a horizontal line and vertical line. Name the endpoints of horizontal line by point x x and name the endpoints of vertical line by point y y and name the intersecting point by point o as shown. With the help of roller scale, draw a horizontal line parallel to line x x above and below at a distance of 10 millimeters. Similarly, draw a vertical line parallel to line y y ahead and behind at a distance of 10 millimeters as shown. You can keep any distance as per your requirement. Now mark the points in each quadrant as shown. These are the reference point for drawing a view in each quadrant. To solve this problem, let us observe the front view of given 3D object with respect to direction of view. As we know, in the third angle projection method, we draw a front view in third quadrant and top view above the front view and right hand side view at the right side of the front view. So, we will draw a front view over here. For drawing a front view, our reference point is located at top right corner. So let us find that point in the 3D object. So that is the point. From that point, draw a vertical line of 45 millimeters, horizontal line of 115 millimeters, vertical line of 15 millimeters, horizontal line of 70 millimeters, vertical line of 30 millimeters, and horizontal line of 45 millimeters as shown. Let me show you the dimensions so that you can draw up to here. Now from this point mark a point at a distance of 30 millimeters and connect these two points with the help of line as shown. From the front view the edges of the cylindrical holes are not visible to us. That edges we will draw with the help of hidden lines. From this point, mark a point at a distance of 20 millimeters, and from that point, with the help of roller scale, draw a center line as shown. From this point, mark a point at a distance of 25 millimeters, and from that point, with the help of roller scale, draw a center line as shown. With the help of roller scale, draw a vertical hidden line on the both the side of the center line at a distance of 14 millimeters as shown. With the help of roller scale, draw a vertical hidden line on the both the side of the center line at a distance of 11 millimeters as shown. Now, our front view is completed. Let me show you the dimensions of the front view so that you can draw it easily. Also, mention the name of the view which is front view as shown. Now, let us observe the top view of the given 3D object with respect to direction of view. With the help of roller scale, Take the projections of each point of the front view in upward direction as shown. 
now draw both the vertical center line up to 50 millimeters and from the midpoint of this vertical center line draw a horizontal center line as shown with the help of compass take this point as a center and 14 millimeter as a radius draw a circle similarly with the help of compass take this point as a center and 11 millimeter as a radius draw a circle with the help of compass take this point as a center and 25 millimeter as a radius draw a half circle as shown similarly with the help of compass take this point as a center and 25 millimeter as a radius draw a half circle now with the help of roller scale connect the end points of the half circles as shown from this point draw a vertical line of 50 millimeters from this point mark a point at a distance of 5 millimeters and from that point draw a horizontal line of 30 millimeters vertical line of 10 millimeters horizontal line of 30 millimeters now our top view is completed let me show you the dimensions of the top view so that you can draw it very easily also mention the name of the view which is top view as shown now to draw a right hand side view we have to transfer the projections of top view at the right side of the front view for that with the help of protractor from point o draw a line of any length at an angle of 45 degree as shown let us observe the right hand side view of given 3d object with respect to direction of view with the help of roller scale take the projections of the each point of the top view up to 45 degree line and transfer it in the downward direction as shown with the help of roller scale transfer the projections of the each point of the front view in right hand side direction for drawing a right hand side view our reference point is located at top left corner so let us locate that point in our 3d object so this is the point from that point draw a horizontal line of 50 millimeters vertical line of 45 millimeters horizontal line of 50 millimeters and vertical line of 45 millimeters as shown in the right hand side view the edges of the cylindrical holes and the edges of the rib will not be visible to us that edges we will draw with the help of hidden lines with the help of roller scale draw a center line as shown as this line is not going to be visible so we will draw it with the help of hidden line the edges of the rib is also not going to be visible so draw it with the help of hidden lines similarly the edges of the both the cylindrical holes are not going to be visible so draw that edges with the help of hidden lines as shown now our right hand side view is completed let me show you the dimensions of the view so that you can draw it very easily also mention the name of the view which is right hand side view as shown now mention the dimensions in the each view as per the dimensioning rule i hope you understood it if you have any questions let me know in the comment box thank you